Hi, my name is Andy Alexander, and I'm the broker at Lemon Tree Management. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to get your property ready to rent, um, or the things that I do when I'm working with a client to get their house ready for rent. Um, I think a good rule of thumb is to try to prepare the property like you're selling the property. So obviously it needs to be professionally cleaned. And the other point I'd like to make about that is um, when the tenant moves out, the property has to be in the same condition as when they moved in minus normal wear and tear. So if, you, if it's professionally cleaned on the way in, you can expect them and it's fair for them to professionally clean the property on the way out. And you can write that in the lease. So professionally clean the property. I would clean the inside windows, everything. Outside of the property needs to be completely cleaned. Trash moved away. And one thing I like to point out is personal property. Um, it's much better to remove all your personal property from the attic, from the garage. A lot of times owners like to keep certain things or one little spot. Nobody likes that um, from the tenant standpoint. Um, everybody likes the property to, for the property to feel like it's their own. And it's just much better to clear everything out. Um, way less issues that way. Um, things that will help you rent it for more money as far as the return on your investment. You know, hardwood floors and tile are much better than, um, than carpet, obviously. And, you know, any upgrades in the house are always welcome for a renter and will help you get um, more money. You know, if it's an upgraded kitchen or bathroom, obviously a washer and dryer, if you have it, is great. The attached garage, the yard, these are all things that matter. But, um, you know, curtains and blinds, um, if they're not there, the, the tenant's going to have to get them. So curtains and blinds, hardwood floors, uh, tile, those are some small things that you can do to, to help. Uh, ceiling fans, if you don't have air conditioning, all those things are great. Um, so that's about it. I would just say, you know, make sure you're trying to put yourself in the, in the renter's shoes. Have a professionally cleaned property. Have it looking good. Do all the small things. Um, that matter if you have the money like hardwood floors tile uh, low maintenance type things uh, clean all the trash out and remove all your personal items uh, thanks a lot mm -hmm.